that's that would explain that would explain a couple of things. There we go. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Fucking forearms, my shoulders, my hip, my just everything. Ah. Oh. Mm. Did everybody have a good whatever the fuck? <laughs> whatever the fuck it was. <coughs> uh I don't know how much fucking news I feel like doing tonight. I don't know how much, like, reality I feel like doing tonight. I kind of feel like just playing, uh, I just feel like, uh, murdering some zombies. <clears throat> My whatever the fuck, uh, uh, fuck fucking sucked. Good to know, Buddhist. Um, there are a couple of headlines that I wanted to mention, but beyond that, um, slow. It's going to be slow. Um, honestly, I think it's either just going to be like a couple of hardcore diehards fucking like types like y'all. Um, or a bunch of godless fucking alt-righters that are just bored and hate their families and that sort of thing. So, um, hey, Kvass. I kind of want to just play Dying Light. <laughs> I uh, had a much needed cry. I got a call that the 14 year old. Oh, I'm sorry. The family dog passed um, away. House dog sitting, so it wasn't there today to say goodbye. Oh, I'm sorry, Buddhist. That's depressing. Pour one out for the dog. Pour one out for the puppers. Uh, Amorous, yes. Yes. If you if you are bored and hate your family, uh, you are automatically an alt right. Um, yeah. That's how it works. Um, also the anti-work community is apparently alt right now too. Um, somebody posted a screenshot of a review caption, uh, about an employer. Um, and it said that this alt right, uh, subreddit called anti-work was bombarding the employer with bad faith reviews. Um, so... The anti-work movement is now all right, too. <laughs> uh, my favorite comment uh, out of the entire thread was somebody just posted the Steve Buscemi meme and said, What's up, my fellow alt-righters? Hi, <laughs> let's play it. Who gives a shit? Uh, so we now pro-work. <coughs> uh, <clears throat> oh, man. Let's see if I could. Can I get this position? You know what? Let me see something. Hang on. Okay, I could. I could keep myself there. And all right, malt writers. Uh, I don't know. Uh, Teddy boy, as in K, as in Teddy K. Um. No, 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 and not at all, actually. Ah, uh, lazy alt writers that want everything handed to them. Exactly, Amorous. Just lean into it and enjoy it. Oh, fuck it. Um, I don't know if I massage my forearm. Uh, <laughs> area of the talking points. Good on you. Good on you. Um, so, yeah, like most Twitter political, uh, most political takes on Twitter, poorly informed, if at all, uh, if at all, um, probably misunderstanding Kaczynski and also misunderstanding fascism. Um, so, you know. The less you know. Um, anyway. <laughs> oh, stupid people, stupid people, stupid people, stupid people, stupid people. Uh, um, 
So 25 cops from a single county were arrested in this year. Bexar County, uh, Texas. Bexar County, Texas. 25 cops from one fucking county. Yep. Um, it's, uh, <laughs> hey, car. Um, a variety of reasons. You know, um, some of them. <laughs> I, this is some of the best wording. Um, some of them are minor, like DUIs or inappropriate behavior at the jail. Um, other charges, not so minor. Uh, <laughs> you know, aggravated battery, sexual assault, child pornography, bestiality. <laughs> um, y- you know, kind of a, a smorgasbord of um, poor cop behavior. <laughs> Bribery, evidence manipulation, uh, you know, <laughs> take your, take your pick, take your pick. There's uh, honestly, there's a smorgasbord of, uh, smorgasbord of, uh, um, of poor police behavior on, on display, but yeah, 25 of them arrested from one County in a single year. I know Aspen, I see Aspen, what I want to know is before I condemn the cop for the bestiality, was the cop penetrating or being penetrated? Because that's where I draw my line, legitimately. That is legitimately where I draw my line. Yeah, okay, ew, whatever, you're fucking animals, ew, whatever. But you go down to fucking Columbia to this day, and there's dudes that fuck donkeys. Like, it's it's a rite of passage for one cultural group. My, my, my ethical line is, are you the one getting buggered, or are you the one buggering? That's, that's, that's where, that's how I, how I divvy it up. <laughs> so, you know, yeah, like you tie it, you tie your fucking horse or a donkey or something to uh, a fucking, uh, you know, a post and then you go to town on it. Like, fuck you. You didn't get consent, but like, you know, you bend over in front of the animal and the animal goes to town on you. I'm just saying that's closer to... That's closer to at least some form of consent. <laughs> that's, that's, you know, I, 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 <laughs> there are no details on the, on the cop sexual beast, uh, on the bestiality though. We don't, we don't, we don't have anything on that. <laughs> we have no details. <laughs> surprise, surprise. Um, that case is, uh, <laughs> we know more about the child pornography than we do the bestiality. Interestingly enough. <laughs> Boot is excellent Kai discourse tonight already. Yeah. I, I, I look, you know, I don't I don't have enough time in my world to give a shit if some dude wants to take it up the ass from a fucking like a, a, a stallion or some shit like that. Like, look, you want to blow your guts out and like dive an intestinal rupture? That's on you. <coughs> like have you know, whatever. I don't it's like kids being stolen at our border and shit by the United States government. We're funding genocide around the world. Some dude wants to get uh, fucked up the ass by by his like canine or something. Honestly, like not for me, but you know, somebody just died somewhere of starvation because of capitalism. Like I, I, I honestly, I can't be bothered. So. Uh, Kvass, the the deal with the horse is actually the the violent nature of it, from what I understand. Um, it's not necessarily the the size or the dilation. It's 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 more the um, as it were. So, I know Amaris. I know if all of those like you know barefoot, dirty footed African children would just get off of their malnutrition, uh, malnourished asses and work a solid day's work in the mines the way our great, great, great grandpappies did, then maybe they could lift themselves up by their bootstraps. Wait, they don't have bootstraps either? Well, then they could make some boots, make some bootstraps, and then maybe they can lift themselves up by it. Uh...
I heard it was a sick ostrich car. I heard it was a sick ostrich. Um, those alt writers, anti work, starving Africans, complaining on Reddit and dying instead of working and making money and becoming the next boss. Exactly. <laughs> Commodity, because because a uh, tw in one Texas county alone, twenty five police officers were arrested this year, and it was a wide range from DUI to inappropriate behavior at the jail to aggravated battery to sexual assault to child pornography to bestiality. Um, so right off the, the off the top of my head, basically, I don't give a shit about the bestiality as long as you're getting penetrated. That's my idea of consent with an animal. Uh, it's not my gig, but as long as you're not, like, raping your horse, I really don't care. And there's, like, starving kids in Africa. I don't I don't have time for, like, a cop who wants to take it up the ass from his, like, patrol horse or something like that. I don't... Whatever. Um, but we don't have those details. So we were discussing it. Um, Tim Pool read some Proudhon. Uh, holy shit, Buddhist. Um... That's that's a thing. That's a thing. Officer hands. Oh wait, it should be more. <laughs> uh Amaris, uh Bexar County, Texas. B E X A R. <clears throat> oh, let's see. Oh god, it's in a Michael Malice. <sighs> Ah, there it is. I'm like, Ethan Supley reads Max Sterner. Interesting. Um, oh, fuck you. It's like all audible locked behind and shit. Oh. Oh, Dave Rubin read Benjamin. Okay. All right. You know what? I take personal exception with some of these people reading some of these people. I mean, Herman's like a Declanist. I'm okay with that. Tim Poole reading Proudhon. Malice. Reuben. Lauren. Ch Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That, that entire fucking, that's just nightmare fuel. Uh Yeah, I'm Kaiser. Um, oh, I'm sorry, Rev. Oh, they have Amherst. They have all sorts of animals in Texas. Um... I don't, I don't, I don't know if I can show this on, on stream. You know what? I'm going to show this. We're going to roll the dice. We're going to roll the dice. We're going to roll the dice. This is filed under history. This is, um, the Saturday evening post from July 29th, 1967. Um, we'll see if we have a channel tomorrow. They were just nailing it with this cover. They were just nailing it with this cover. 
So. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Uh, <laughs> came across that today. I was like, ooh, that's a blast from the past. Um, I don't I don't think we discuss things in that sort of con uh, that tone anymore. <laughs> oh. Yes, hashtag winning in Vietnam. Um Does anyone know who Andrea Hines is? She's a Canadian. Um, this chick won't shut up on Twitter, and she just keeps saying shit. And it, it it's like every time she says shit, it just gets worse and worse and worse. Um. Where is, where is her original tweet? Um, <laughs> she, she might be my sister. Um, there we go. Um, her original tweet. <clears throat> I'll add some context for you here in a second. Was, strap it. When I was selling sex, men would take me on trips, staying at luxurious hotels, eating at the fanciest restaurants, shopping and day spa treatments. <laughs> Not a moment of it was ever enjoyable though, because I knew what was to come after, the part where I had to let them rape my body. Here's the follow-up tweet. I'm not apologizing for shit. Prostitution is a system of paid rape and sex buyers are nothing more than gentle rapists. And anyone who disagrees is a rapist apologist in my books or is uninformed at best. Now, the interesting context here, besides the fact that she was okay with it, um, she's a former brothel owner. Yes, she 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 was an escort. By her own definition, she was a dom and escort. By her own distinction, she was a dom and escort um, for a time. But she's a brothel, a former brothel owner. She was the pimp. Yeah, yeah. It certainly adds a touch of. Sorry, what? To the entire conversation when you realize she was a madam. So, yeah, definitely, uh, definitely just, it just came across my, it came across my radar a couple of days ago and I was like, Jesus fucking Christ. Oh. Oh, by the way, uh, if if you ever hear of a punk band named Gentle Rapist, it started in a uh, in a uh, in a uh, r slash hole up uh, conversation. I watched it happen. A couple of guys were like, "Dude, that's a perfect fucking punk band name. We need this. Can I use it?" Yeah, no, go for it. He's like, "All right," and they're like coordinating a, a band get together, like straight up. They're like, "Yeah." So if you ever see a punk band uh, out there in the wild named Gentle Rapist. Born of a conversation of the, uh, about this check. So. Uh, oh, we all saw the 14. Um, yeah, I know, right, Buddhist? It's a solid punk. It's a solid name. It's a solid name. Right? Um, we all saw the 14-year-old shot by LAPD, right? Nobody missed that, missed that one, right? Like, that's... <clears throat> 
Um, yeah. Fucking which fourteen year old? The the latest like girl, the fourteen year old girl who was in like the the fucking dressing room changing or whatever the fuck it was. Um, and the cops went in and like chasing some dude turned a corner and ta -da -da. and she did. Right. Like that 14 year old, the latest one. <coughs> yeah. The latest one. So I'm pretty sure she was white too, which I mean, that's never a good look. Yes. Um. Collateral damage. Um, unfortunately, everyone fled to the dressing rooms, and unfortunately, the bullet found her. Zippy, I, I do believe it, a quinceanera girl. Um, yeah, she, um, uh, Sorry. She came to the United States from Chile with her mother and sister about six months ago. <laughs> her father remained in Chile, but had planned a trip to California for the holidays. He had hoped to take his daughter to a uh, LA Lakers game. Um, she died in her mom's arms. Yeah. Like, uh, <laughs> and and I mean some of the quotes are amazing. Some of the quotes are amazing. Um, her father, I cannot sleep. All she wanted was to become an American citizen. I once told her, let's leave this country. No, Papa, she said. This is the safest country in the world, a country of opportunity. Now my daughter is dead at the hands of the state. Oh. Just ruthlessly brutal to quote that. Uh, I know, right, Amorous? Um. <laughs> Fuck it, hey Buddhist. Um, I mean, you know, it is what it is. Uh, buffet. Um. <laughs> welcome. Hi, welcome to America. Would you like three or four bullets? Um. Yeah, I know, right? Kaiser has a bullet. Find someone. Um. The LAPD released edited footage. It's already getting sketchy. It's it's going to be a thing. It's going to be a thing. Um, from what we've been able to see of the footage, the dude did not, like, he didn't present a gun. They just, dude, they just went trigger happy. They turned the fucking corner. From what you can see in some of the footage, um, the cops turned the fucking corner and just lit the place up. Like, just three rounds. Like, the cop, the cop basically, like, ah! Right, like you know, you're playing a first-person shooter, and you just get like twitchy. You like you come around a corner, and you're just blah. That the cop did that, but in real life, yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, Exel, not really close. <laughs> Try, like, in an area separated by walls. <laughs> they they didn't hit the suspect, by the way. <laughs> Just... <laughs> yeah, three rounds. 
uh, the cop let off before he even regained his trigger discipline. And ta -ta -ta -ta. and it just punched through the fucking wall into the dressing area where people had taken refuge. Uh, oh, level head. Fucking level. Level. What is, what is with this common sense that you are trying to apply to this situation? This is America and cops. The, the thin blue line. They are the thin blue line standing between us and utter anarchy. And without them, that 14-year-old girl may actually have had a productive life. We cannot have that. That was a foreigner in our land trying to take our job. Take, she was going to take our jobs. And you know there's motherfuckers out there defending it. You know there's motherfuckers out there defending it. Like, yeah, it's it's sad. It should it should never have happened. But it, you know, th bad things happen. Uh, Car, she was. I mean, she was fairly pale. She was pale. I mean, she's Chilean. She's got a bunch of like Spanish descent and shit like that. Um, let's see if I can get you a a, a picture. Uh, copy image address. There we go. Um, she was she was on the white end of the Hispanic spectrum. She's pa she's white passing. I mean, her accent would have given her away, but they didn't hear the accent. So, yeah. Oh. I mean, what do you, what do you, what do you, at the end of the day, what do you say, right? Like, what do you say? The fucking, the, they're going to blame the, they're going to blame the, cr the, the criminal, right? They're going to blame the criminal. We all know that. We all know that's going to happen. He's, he's going to take the, the heat for this, even though the cop has like zero trigger discipline and basically turned the corner and just like, ah! so just, just another, just another. Um. Oh, while we're speaking about American ignorance, uh, <laughs> I know, right? Pickaxe. Um, the Department of Education, um, the U.S. Department of Education, official statistics. 54% of U.S. adults lack proficiency in literacy, reading below the equivalency of a sixth grade level. So half of American adults legit are have the reading proficiency of a fifth grader or below. 54%. 54. 5-4. 54%. Yeah. Over half of Americans are reading. <laughs> what you reading for Aspen? It was, dude, it was, it was prescient if there ever was, wasn't it? Um, um, let's see. Sure. Buffet. Sure. Um, yeah. Yeah, buffet tag like send me a DM on Discord or something. Um <sighs> How do I know if I'm above or below that? Um I mean, high probability you're you're above it. Yeah. Hello, and for non-Americans, what age is that? Uh, well, Lada, that would be, um, oh God, that'd be about ten or eleven years of age, something like that. Uh. 
Um, ten. Ten. Um, they're usually ten when they start fifth grade, and they usually turn eleven by the end of fifth grade. Ah, uh, so. What's my opinion on public schools or American education uh, more broadly? Um, oh God, that's a big topic. Uh, um, I uh, open GL. I usually work from 14 at ninth grade and work backwards. That's that's how I do it. Um, well, level. My issue is starting with the fact that American public education is based off the Prussian um, regimentation. Um, so the, the same style of regimentation that pr uh, the Prussian military used to train good, unquestioning, unflinching soldiers um, is the foundation for our educational system. Um, so start there, right? Um, that, that alone is a huge, huge issue. Um, I have a problem with the predominant pedagogies that are taught at the university level. Um, I have a problem with the funding of the public school system. I have a problem with the private school system that exists side by side with it and in some ways like parasitically siphons from it. Um, I have a problem with the, I mean, the, the operation within. I have a problem with like Dude, I got a problem with, like, No Child Left Behind, Common Core. I got a problem with, like, I, let's just say I have a lot of problems with public education. I believe in it if done correctly. I think that education is the one true panacea for societal ills. I truly do believe that. Um, but they don't want well-trained. They don't want well-educated philosophically minded insightful decision makers they want button pushers that are just competent enough to pull the lever so you can keep making the wid three-sided widget bolt that they need you to manufacture that's it so that's that's my issue um, or some of them or summary of some of them <clears throat> Oh, good on you, Car. Yes. Pedagogical um, intent is an issue. All right. Let me scroll back a ways. Oh. Uh, nice non-binary. Good on you. I'm not a fan of electric blankets, but if you enjoy it, good on you. Uh, you tell people about this all the time. No one's normally heard it. The thing about the Prussian model. Yeah, no, that's that's starting position one. Um, the the American educational system is built off the Prussian regimentation model. It's a method for creating good, unthinking soldiers. You're going to hurl into the trenches to die for God and uh, God and country, right? Like it's not it's not a fucking educational. It's not a pedagogical mo modality. It's not uh, fucking a solid foundation for an educational process. It's just <clears throat> pedagogy. 54% Kai. Zippy. <clears throat> Rise to the occasion, not lower. Um, caboose. How you doing, Caboose? Oh, God. I just saw Rev in shared content. <clears throat> Pickaxe. Fair. Fair. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, uh, power's still out and 4G is spotty. Oh, well, don't, don't run up any fucking data bills or anything, Caboose. 
If you have unlimited data, by all means, but don't fucking... Uh, most of us. I think, I think primarily all of us, quite frankly. I'm double and boosted. So... Add a boy caboose. Waiting for the boost on the 14th. Switzerland checking in on that one. Um, our country has been slow. Well, you know. But you are Swiss. Um, you get your booster tomorrow, says Zippy. Uh, Rev's getting booster in a few days. Um, I think Caboose is double vaxxed. I don't know if Caboose is boosted, though. I'm just going to speak for Caboose at this point. Um, Mr. Gates can fully track me now that I got my booster. And there you go, Puka. Um, <laughs> well, Lada. Levels boosted 10 days ago. Boosted late October. Sweet! Boosted and pink. Fucking Swede. And Swede has transcended. Swede is now officially a pink anarchy symbol. Congratulations. Caboose is boosted. Okay, cool, cool. <coughs> uh, nice car. Um, I already ordered the 15th and 16th booster. Um, oh, Jesus Christ. That was fucking sore right there. Um, so... I don't know how to interpret that. Hey, Sassy. <laughs> you got the 6G DLC battle pass. Um, Swede, Swede, Swede. Did you happen to see my tag? Did you, can you, can you, can you... Can you explain to me what the fuck happened in 1971, Swede? Co oh, wait. Denmark has, is now the country with the world's highest COVID infection rate. Isn't Denmark one of the countries that was like, we're not going to do much. Sweet, if you've got a minute, I'll just show it on stream and you can jump on the air and fucking explain to me what the fuck did... Well, I got I got a ton of charts, sweet. I got a ton of charts. <laughs> I I I I have a hunch. I know what they're t I know what they're driving at when I'm looking at this, but I don't know. Oh, Sweden was what I was thinking. Thank you thank you Kaiser. Because science changes things. Because science updates itself. It's one of the hallmarks of science. Scary. Um, there's all sorts of boosters, you fucking knobhead. <coughs> we went through all the boosters <coughs> one day. Um, and if anybody's wondering what the, um, 
what the 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 definitional change they made it was uh produce immunity to produce protection because immunity was being abused as a term right like that's they that's what they did is they they backed off of the term immunity because morons don't speak immunologist or epidemiologist and so immunity means one thing to scientists it means another thing to knobheads who read google and facebook results as their research right <clears throat> so they changed that that's 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 the swap that's that's the change that they made in the definitional set Ter terribly yeah produce immunity to produce protection yeah that's all that's that's yeah that's that's fucking like Oh, Swede, 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 Swede. Uh, fucking uh, dumb, dumb fucking vaccine denier idiots can fuck off. I got, I got more important things to do. I got Swede. <laughs> fucking idiots. I swear to God, the fact that we're still debating this is just astounding. It's like the definition of theory in science versus the way we use it colloquially. Yeah, you, you, you have to start changing these definitions if you're going to be interacting with the idiot public. It's just the way it goes. Um, evolution is just a theory, man. Yep. Um, let's see. Hang on. Let's pull you a little bit down. Um, all right. So I'm going to, I'm going to show like a bunch of charts, like, uh, on the screen. <laughs> There's this website. What the fuck happened in 1971? And I want to know what the fuck happened in 1971. I was like, sweet. Mm -hmm. The seventies were interesting. Um, so like, okay, so here's like the, the productivity and hourly compensation chart right at the top, right? Like here's the fucking where it toggles, but this page, like if you can here, I'll turn myself off. You can see the, the, the scroll bar over here on the side. It's small, right? There's a lot of charts on this page. Um, and all of them are like, have a pivot at like 1971. There's like an inclination that just starts like between 1970 and 1972. Like there's just some shit that went down and like I income gains, like income growth. Here's a Fred chart for fucking shares of domestic growth income. Here's it fucking plummeting. Here's uh, concentration. Here's fucking like fast progress, slow progress, average black income as of percentage of average white income. Here's it starts trending. Here's a trend again that starts fucking here's a trend again that starts like there's all of these fucking charts like cost of living like actual like printouts for from back in the day and shit right like inflation rates cumulative inf inflation rates consumer price index electricity food fruit CPI uh, here's housing. Here's another Fred chart for sales price, average sales price of houses sold, and it just starts fucking climbing there. Here's uh, Australia as well. Like, it's not just the U.S. Like, and then, like, you start to fucking how long it takes to save for a house, gold reserves and gold price, hyperinflation episodes, uh, occurrence of adjusted for inflation Google books, currency crashes. Like, this just list just goes on and on and on and on. And every single one of these fucking charts has this weird, like, moment in 1971 that shit just starts getting wacky. And I don't know enough about economics or the f history of finance in this country to be able to look at these charts and go, oh, well, that was this. The only thing that I like, I was like, the f my first inclination was to ask Siri, who was president in 1971? Nixon. Of course. Yeah, I was, that was my, that was my guess. I'm like, this feels like Nixon's administration, right? Like, I was just like, I'm just going to double check this. This feels like Nixon though. Um, what the fuck happened in 1971, man? <laughs> Well, as you know, during the 60s, there was a lot of 
removal of worker protections. Uh, union busting in the 60s and 70s was pretty rife. Uh, there was the ending of... Now, the gold standard had de facto ended in 1933 or 37, one of the two. But the f Nixon, <laughs> like, actually officially did it in 1971. So that's part of it. Uh, the, the war was still going on, and it was expensive as hell, and we were having to print quite a bit of money to maintain the military industrial complex. Uh, I mean, 19, the early seventies are just a wash with, uh, pretty much everything. Now the changeover from the underlying value of the dollar being quote unquote, being guaranteed by a price of gold, uh, changing into just the world reserve currency where the value of it, you know, that, sh you know, that shouldn't directly just affect blacks as far as you know their wages and things like that so you have to look at this it's it's a multivariant thing so a lot of it stems from the fact of union busting in the late 60s a lot of it stems from the amount of money that we had to print uh without subsequent demand for I'm it on the world stage to main to to buoy the value of it this isn't like early 2020 where we were short $10 trillion for current account settlements amongst the trading nations around the world. This isn't, you know, where petroleum itself could buoy short-term fluctuations in currency value. This isn't, you, know, you could go on down the list of a whole bunch of things uh, of macroeconomic um situations that have happened over the years. And this is essentially when stagflation starts. In 1974, things get really interesting because that's when the oil crisis, that's when OPEC points its middle finger square at the United States and goes, you're not king shit as much as you think you are. Uh, and then consequently, the United States flexed its economic muscle, took over Indonesia as basically uh, put them into debt, made them default on the debt, walked in and said, you're now our bitch. Um, if you read Confessions of an Economic Hitman, yeah. it goes into the whole story of Indonesia and Malaysia. And it's the reason we fought Vietnam is to stop that domino from hitting Indonesia, Malaysia. That... I mean, it's it's crazy to think about, but we fought a war to protect a nation that wasn't at war. Go figure. But anyway, it makes sense when you think about it economically, because the amount of oil that Indonesia, Malaysia produce, that it's just insane how much interest we had in that area. It's the same reason we support Saudi Arabia. It's the same reason that we uh, bombed Iraq into whatever century that we bombed them back into because Halliburton wanted to go in and be their uh, drilling associate. And they said, no. So we took them out of power. Whoopsie. But 19 <laughs> that worked out real well. Best uh, laid plans and all that. But 1971 just happened to be a confluence of a whole bunch of events of the nearing the end of the war. The, you know, uh, the things were escalated pretty high at that point. Um, Indonesia, Malaysia, the, uh, the coups and stuff happened. Uh, we took it off the gold standard. We were printing money. Um, worldwide confidence in the United States had dropped to pretty much an all time low because some farmers in Vietnam were kicking our ass. Um, you know, it's just the, the amount of variables that you can think of in that area just insane. Um, so hang, hang on. To, to hang, sit hang. back and go, it was Nixon taking us off the gold standard. Bullshit. Um, hey, it's hey, never one thing. Hey, biking cat. Why did I not hear from you when Obama came to power? Did you know me when Obama was in power? Were, were you on this <laughs> channel? What kind of fucking dummy question is that? Hey, hey, biking, biking. How come I didn't hear you uh, uh, chastising the Nixon administration back in the day when he was uh, doing his criminal acts? Huh? 
I didn't hear I didn't hear you. I didn't hear you when fucking Andrew Jackson was acting a fool back in the day, Biking Cat. Why where were you when Andrew Jackson was president, Biking Cat? I didn't hear your voice. I didn't hear your voice as Washington crossed the Potomac, Biking Cat. Where were you? Where was Biking Cat on the day that Genghis Khan sacked? What the fuck dummy question is that shit? Holy shit. How stupid can you be? Fucking holy fuck. Anyway, I couldn't I couldn't resist the level of stupidity that was asked in that singular question. Okay. So it is so it is just truly like a historical confluence of a series of events that have been sort of stacking and piling for at least a couple of decades if not a couple of week uh, a couple of years and that just sort of decades yeah happened happened to culminate under one of our our um let's just specialist uh administrations yeah and the funny thing is is liberals should be all over nixon because nixon was a liberals liberal you know the epa was started under him i mean you think about all the the things that were started under him that were actually kind of positive are very liberal clean, things. Yeah, clean water. But he was also right wing as hell. Yeah, clean water act, EPA, Superfund. I think was his as well. Um, yeah, like a whole bunch. Yeah, OSHA, fucking, and hey there, Rabbit. And Rabbit would just like everyone to know that Rabbit was there throwing water on the uh, burning of the Library of Alexandria. So <laughs> just to get the record straight, Rabbit's Rabbit's clean. Um. I love historians that love to like shit on people that think that the burning of Library of Alexandria was actually a, a negative historical event. <laughs> Where were you? Exactly, Rabbit. <laughs> Fucking. I mean, I mean, Nixon was a shitty person. Don't get me wrong. But he was a liberal's liberal. He really was. He was a racist fuck, but he was a liberal's liberal. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. Yeah. All right. So it, like most answers, there isn't a, like most answers in this world and in this life. I think you've posted most of the stuff that happened in the fifties and early sixties that really eroded a lot of working rights that really didn't, that really didn't hit the main stage until the late sixties, early seventies. You know, that, that level of stripping of power takes a while to actually manifest itself. It takes several years and You do that with the war, with, you know, you have a, you just have this world stage where a bunch of people are getting tired, fed up with the United States' shit, and that was that. Um, Fair enough. Fair enough. I wanted a clean, concise answer, but like life, it's messy, and there's nuance and grays, and boo! Boo, I say! Um... (laughs) But that makes sense. That makes sense. I want. I just. I wanted. To, I wanted to put it firmly at like Nixon's feet. But God damn it, fucking. I mean, every chart you look at. I mean, it is weird that it all happened around that point in time. It's, I mean, it's a. But it's again, freaky. coincidences in this in this universe happen. Yeah, it's it's like I said. There's like pages of economic data and charts and cost of living and all of this sort of shit. Like just on this single fucking, and all of them are 1971. And you're like, what the fuck happened in 1971? I'm pretty sure the the push of the website itself, like the person behind it, is is a gold bug. I, I'm pretty sure the the person running it is one of those people. Um, but yeah. But yeah, Pick Pick even mentions 1968 was a weird year with you know I think that was also you know the Tet Offensive, you had a lot of civil rights marches. Um, th- there was a lot that happened um, around that time, and it's yeah, it's. I mean, I, I my guess is a lot of people are going to point at the gold standard being fully removed. Amherst, um, Amherst but, wants to know why you aren't telling us that. Uh, are you telling us that there isn't a singular event that can explain things? Why are you hiding the satanic rituals that started all of this? Oh, week? Jesus. Yeah. See, this is. We, yeah. we have to take him out now. All right. Well, all right. <clears throat> he's, he's Swiss, so it's going to be more difficult to get to him. Um, <laughs> we can just blow up the tunnels for him. There we go. Bridges and tunnels gone. 
Um, <laughs> fucking, <laughs> we should all buy silver. Exactly, exactly, Car. Um, silver is the answer. Silver will save you. The the Lamar brothers uh, would would agree with you. Um, and if you don't know that story, it's a it's a hell of a doozy. Uh, the former owners of the Chiefs, the the Lamar family, at one point were buying up so many silver futures and couldn't couldn't uh, exchange the silver futures out that they had to start taking delivery on their futures contracts. I was going to say, they're the ones the that tried... The point of futures contracts is to never take delivery on them. Yeah, they're the you ones that tried to out. corner the global silver market, right? Yeah, they yeah. did. They they they, uh, they crashed the global silver market by themselves. It's impressive. That's like Mansa Musa sort of shit ter- territory, yeah, right? It's, it's, yeah, yeah. It's, 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 worth the, it's worth getting in your name in the history books for it. There's a book called Serpent on the Rock that everyone should read that really gets into why I do, why, why half of my job is what it is. Um, <clears throat> oh, Jesus. Axel said there's a Reddit story of someone who had to take delivery of a bunch of oil because he didn't trade some of his futures. Wasn't he like a, a Arizonian or some shit like that? I seem to remember that. Uh, yeah, the dude had to, like, get a warehouse. No, Texas. I think it was Texas. The dude had to, like, rent space and take delivery. Um, Like, he had to get a warehouse. Um, It was a thing. Um, yeah, when, when that third Friday hits, you better have closed out your contracts. Yeah. Hey, Karina. Eh, everything hurts. Everything hurts. And I've been gassed. Like, I just do my workout. I had to fucking, I had to fight for it today Karina um hope you're as well as you can be given current things Karina um and since it's Wednesday pray for me tomorrow because I have to go to my fundamentalist family so oh good oh goody that'll be fun that'll be fun um be sure to you know (laughs) <laughs> cat i swear there's something in the air in this godforsaken town that that is the aerosolized hope and dreams of those that dare come here we we dissolve it out of them we distill it and then we aerosolize it and spray it into our atmosphere those of us that have been here long enough and have converted we uh we thrive on it it's what it's what fuels us yeah um, I have no idea what my family thinks about Pence, and I don't really care. <laughs> uh, fuck it. Yeah, he, no, those are chemtrails, uh, rabbit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we, we legitimately, we, we actually have real chemtrails in, in Nevada, not some Alex Jones chemtrails. We actually spray it. It's just, it's condensed hopes and dreams. That's all. Um, fucking... I yeah. think this stream should go full trad calf. I mean, why not? <laughs> right. I'm, I'm. Where were you in Pope Urban? <laughs> Jesus oh, um, uh, 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 the fact that Urban is a name just cracks me up. Um, um, fucking, where were you? Where were you in defense of the, uh, of the, uh, of the, the, the seat of power for the Catholic church when Formosa was put in? Biking, biking. Where were you when, uh, Pope Formosa was dug up and put on trial as a, <laughs> as a cadaver in a travesty to not only legal systems, but religious traditions and conservatism throughout all of history? Where were you? I didn't hear you you biking cat when formosa was being put through that sham of a trial you were strangely silent then you have a lot to answer for (laughs) dumbest fucking question i've gotten in a long time um i know what about pope Pius? how's that for the most obnoxious name um yeah, exactly. So my New Year's Day may get destroyed with my COVID cautiousness. Dad collapsed earlier this month, and I can't risk bringing it home. And it turns out the party may be mixed vaccine agreement. Oof. Yeah, that just, no. Uh, it hurts I've missed so many events, but this is also important, so I'm unsure what to do. Stay your fucking ass home, Karina. That's 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 what you do. Um, trust me. No, look, I know you, you've 
I know you're making up for lost time. I know you're fucking like trying to get out there. I know you're trying to like do through what like, go through a whole bunch of stuff and you, you feel like you're up against the wall. You are young. Relatively. Um, <laughs> you are young still. Um, trust me. There will be future New Year New Year's Eve parties and they'll all suck just as much. Um, New Year's Eve parties are not good. Um, unless they're really, really debaucherous. Um, in either case, there will be future New Year's Eve parties, Karina. Don't worry about it. Just just protect yourself, protect your family, don't risk it. Just let it go. And deep breath. Deep breath. Uh, um <laughs> anyway. That I'm gonna try and find that website because that sounds like fun. Which one? What the fuck happened? In it's it's literally WTF happened in 1971.com. That's that's the URL. WTF happened in uh, 1971.com. So. Oh geez, the second I type that in, I'm getting gold advertisements. Told you. Yeah, my my ad blocker takes care of that sort of shit. But I I got the I got the vibe. It, it it's it's it lit, like it just it feels like gold bug shit. Oh God, what is fucking Kunterberg being doing now? Fucking, he's adding 110 acres to his already controversial 1500 acre Hawaiian estate. This motherfucker right here. Uh, Smoking meats. Can we just like? We can smoke these meats. Yeah. Um. Hey, biking, Swede. Thank you for answering my questions. Um, thank you for being a uh, valuable resource to the community. And try yeah. not to uh, poison your liver too much. Um, tomorrow when dealing with your, your fundies. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going back to expected utility. Uh, God bless. Somebody has to do it and it ain't going to be me. So <laughs> good luck. Uh, <laughs> hey, biking. Hey, biking cat. You want to come on the air? You seem really whiny. You seem like you need attention. You seem like you need a good conversation. So why don't you come on the air? You, you can air your grievances. You can speak your mind. You can escape the dreaded echo chamber. Uh, anyway. The rabbit. Some of my best friends are the gays. Dun dun. Um. <laughs> casual no we want the other guy um oh yeah yeah, yeah. caboose that's that's literally what he's doing he's he's just straight up like doing like uh neo-colonialism yeah that's that's all zuckerberg's doing he's just doing neo-colonialism um Just yes, just yes. So get on the air. Get into Discord. Get into voice chat, and we'll bring you on air. <laughs> Fucking a walada. Oh, um, who is that other one? Oh, that's the other one. Ah, uh, who, which one's Anita Noel Green? Who is that? Somebody give me a fucking breakdown on that one. <clears throat> um, anyway, um, so 
Yeah, I know. Cu cupcake. I'm trying to figure out, like, who that is. Uh, she's not a troll. All right, fair enough. <clears throat> um, so, um, so for the first time uh, in a nearly half a century, uh, dialysis patients, their overall numbers have shrunk. Um, they are some of the most vulnerable people to COVID. Um, and the pandemic killed so many dialysis patients, um, that their overall numbers shrank globally. Are you already banned? Biking, are you banned already? Yep, biking is already banned on the server. What did you do, biking? Um, yep. Give <laughs> us everyone look at biking cat. Oh. Uh, couldn't even spit up at all. Yep. Oh. Uh, Mwah, love it. Uh, car, yeah, yeah, theoretically. Yeah, it could have gotten him. Oh, it's biking cat. Casual, it's biking cat. Um, oh yeah, that's definitely what it was for sure. Does anybody remember this motherfucker? Does anybody even remember them? Oh uh, yeah, I know. Right. Rev look. All right. I'll leave this to the community. Do we unban him and give him a second shot? Oh, they're annoying for sure. And they ask really dumb questions like, how come I didn't hear you saying anything about Obama when this motherfucker didn't know me when Obama was president? But uh, do we do we do we do the restorative justice thing and we just yank the ban? Hey, Raphael. <laughs> Fucking sweet. Uh, all right, cool. Yeah, we got a bunch of yays. And a couple of mods that are on board with it, so. <clears throat> Hey, biking, how about you stop being all lippy when we're f discussing revoking your ban and people are actually in favor of revoking your ban? Fucking see nice ban, stay in your bubble. All right, fucking hang on. Let me ban you again. Like fucking like Jesus Christ. Like the, the tide is in your favor, dummy. What is how are you this oblivious? Uh, cat, it's slash pull. Yeah. Astounding. Aspen, yes, you are. They never do, Swede. They never do. <laughs> Zippy, 54% cut. Oh, well, fucking, that doesn't surprise me. Cat, that doesn't surprise me. But I've already revoked the ban. So Yeah. This 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 should be infuriating and entertaining for you schmucks, I'm sure. Um but oh. 
<laughs> Rev. Um... Mm, I doubt it. But anyway. I was like the intro to this one. While we wait for biking to get his shit together. What the fuck is this data dump bullshit in fucking commons? Who is this? Noted, Swede. Thank you. Uh, Derivacat. My name is Cat, and I'm a music producer. Cool. I'll give it a. I'll give it a listen, Swede. Thank you. Um, let's see, that was 1251 that the warning went. Um, and... I know, right, Rabbit? It's astounding. And as far as not all there or whatever the fuck this person's name is. Oh God, we got another reader. We got another reader. We got another reader. Oh, that landing page has provided so much fucking entertainment. Uh, that landing page has, has just fifty four percent, fifty four percent. That's zippy. We got another fifty four. <laughs> I, it is astounding how that how that fucking page just sorts people. Yep, Caboose, just, wow. Never ceases to amaze me. Two sentences. That's all you gotta read. Two fucking sentences. You read the first two sentences and you know what to do. I, exactly, Cat. The 54% that we're talking about, the Dep U.S. Department of Education released their latest statistics. 54% of, of American adults read at a below 6th grade level. 5th grade on down. 10-year-olds. 10-year-olds. 54% of this country reads at a 10-year-old or younger level. We're doomed. <laughs> We're doomed. Mm. 
Oh, rabbit. Yeah, you as a professor. Hey, hey, biking cat, did you did you click the checkbox? Uh well lot of US English. Um Hey! He figured it out, everyone! He figured it out! Oh, it wasn't just fucking Oa, a band sticks. Hey! <laughs> oh. uh, cat, I'm getting there, right? <laughs> amazing. It's amazing. <sighs> just by just by randomly pressing buttons, uh, right, Rabbit? Just by randomly pressing buttons. I'm in... Jesus Christ! Oh, cool. How much background? What am I hearing in the background? Uh, a bunch of fans. Okay, yeah, That's that, it. that is certainly a bunch of fans. Um, scuffed audio. Yeah, Aspen. And not everybody can, you know, fuck it. Swede, only, only the most in intellectual amongst us can understand Neil Breen. <laughs> I don't think Neil understands Neil Breen, but it's neither here nor there. Um. <laughs> so what do you need to get off your chest, man? <clears throat> no, so back in the uh, 1990s, um, I grew up in Florida. And uh, the uh, Central Florida healthcare system, uh, the hospital there, uh, they had like a rule that um, you couldn't visit someone in the ICU if you were like a gay guy. Okay. Like if, if your partner, okay. no, seriously, I'm, I'm, I'm dead serious about this. Hey, hey, not visit, uh, hey, hey buddy. Yeah. 40 year old gay yeah. guy. I lived I through it. Guy. I lived through it. You live through it? Yeah. Yeah. I, I, well, I'm, I'm sure you did. I mean, I, I thought I thought that that should be wrong. I mean, if you got someone in the ICU and you care about them, you know, you should be able to talk to them. Okay. And that's a very okay. and uh, okay. Do you have me still playing in the background? Because you're going to need to mute that. No, I, I turned you off. On the Interesting, because we can still hear me. Yeah, we can still hear me on feedback. It's the echo of the laptop. Right. Lovely. Do you have headphones? No, but the... the uh... Sound system should be good enough. Let me uh, switch the uh, output on the speakers. It's just causing it. All right. All right. Well, we'll try this. Better. Yeah. Better. It's still, it's a little clippy. It's still there, but it's a lot better. So. Um, yeah. so that is a, if, if you were one of the advocates that in your state in Florida, um, helped pass or undermine, um, the, the existing legislation, I don't know which direction Florida was, whether they had laws on the books well, no, no, that needed removing it was, or it was not existing legislation. It, I mean, there was like a, un, um, uh, you remember the, the, uh, the, the movie, uh, a few good men. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm a, few good, a few good men, and uh, it was like uh, guys like, oh, this is not written where you where you go to eat. But there was, you know, it would deny people access if, if you wanted to if you wanted to go visit your gay friend in the ICU. You had to say something like, "I am the uh, other of a." Uh, I'm the brother of uh, his girlfriend. It's 
So, well, we if you helped pass legislation that uh, ushered that in, then we thank you for your service. But one good deed to the gay community does not make a uh, make a lifetime humanitarian. No, you don't. You don't thank me for my service. I know it's right and wrong. You don't have to thank me for that. I'm just saying that to cast me aside as someone that does not care or, or have uh, a sense of uh, morality. I mean that 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 hurts. Um. <clears throat> I don't either, Cupcake. I don't either. Um, I really actually don't. Um, hang on. Let me pop something out here. Uh, there we go. All right. <clears throat> so, you asked if we're all vaxxed, which... I think all of us are actually. Um, then you asked, why does the left support war? And then stated lefty Democrats support full on war. Um, and then said, why did I not hear from you when Obama came to power? Which that's breaking time and space alone. Um, so. Yeah. Um, yeah, I did not hear anything. Once Obama came to power, the whole war on the Middle East became full swing, and we got overrun. Oh, uh, let's do this then. Um, let's yeah, that get my spelling correctly. Um, let's see. And let's see. All right. Embrace MLK. Reject Barack Obama. Why leftists challenge the scourge of black neoliberalism? Let's see. Liberals ditch Obama's lousy legacy. Obama a wall on uh, a wall on the anti-war pro protesters. Uh, let's see. Anti-war protesters uh, admit race shields Obama from criticism. Um. Let's see. I, I mean, it's just because you weren't paying attention during the Obama administration doesn't mean leftist anti-war protesters weren't doing their thing. I, I'm, I'm, really, I'm really sad because I didn't, didn't pick up on that. I didn't pick up on, on Amy Goodman. I didn't pick up on all the lefty outlets I see. What 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 is a, what is a lefty outlet in your mind? Uh, Democracy Now. It's better than the CNN answer, but I mean, at the end of the day, it is sort of still very neoliberal. Might drop out for a second. I'm switching to a better uh, internet connection. Rabbit, I'm sure you are. Um, Oh, Amorous, I'm sure I can find CNN and MSNBC articles criticizing Obama drone strikes. I mean, it, it just, um, the fact of the matter is, is that it existed. Like, anti, oh, let's see. Oh. Uh, let's see, there we go. Oh, let's see. Um, da -da, da -da -da -da. let's see. Ah, I 
I mean, this is the Obama administration, just so you know. This, this, all, the, all of these anti-war protesters, all of this is happening. Here's Syria. Here's specifically for uh, Iraq, Libya, and Syria, right? Like, there's... There was a bunch of fucking, like, I'm not going to pull up, like, the dozens and dozens and dozens of, like, you know, take your take your fucking pick. Here's in San Francisco. Fucking, you know, t- take your take your pick. Um, like, there have been tons of anti-war protests under the Obama administration. So, like, I, I, I can't, like, uh, yeah. I, I don't know what to do with that. So, well, this is this has definitely been entertaining. Um, <clears throat> oh, Walada! I swear to God, whoever this is on the tip of my tongue, I swear we had another drunk guy that sounded like him for a few, a few months ago. Caboose potentially. Um, Yes, yes. Our our most uh, our most uh, assured. Um... Oh, there's Amaris with the fucking CNN. Obama confronts cruel reality of his drone war. President Obama war on terror. He's um he's the war ending president who, as of Tuesday, has ordered airstrikes in seven different countries that we know of. Why have drones uh, killed civilians? Like that's, uh, I know, right? Car, hundred percent. So yeah, I, I don't, I don't know what to do with that information. Yeah, well, <laughs> be over yeah right um <laughs> oh rev rev all right well that um ooh really is this up to date this feels like it's not up to date this feels like it's not up to date When was this updated last? Uh, all right, that's on there. Afghanistan, Bosnia, Cambodia, China, Congo, Cuba, El Salvador, Korea, Guatemala, Indonesia, Laos, uh, Grenada, Iraq, Iran, Korea, Kuwait, Lebanon, Libya, Nicaragua, Pakistan, Palestine, Panama, Peru, uh, Somalia, uh, Sudan, Syria, Vietnam, Yemen, uh, Yemen, and Yugoslavia. You know, doom. Yeah, like compared to the British Empire, um, honestly, it's a short list. Three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 19, 20, 23, 26, 29. There's only 29 countries. To work in progress. Fair enough. Uh, biking, you're the one who went silent on me. So. You're still right there. So. Yeah. That's on you. Yeah. Yeah, and we can't hear you. That's, that's, again. <laughs> Sorry if time constraints didn't allow me to get to your favorite mass murderer. Well, that was...
Yeah, exactly, rabbit. So why have I never criticized Obama? You're right, Amaris. You're right. I am. I am a neoliberal shill for uh, for the Obama administration, um, and I I need to I need to mea culpa. Um, I need to maximum mea culpa for that probably. Um, yeah, I I definitely um, I definitely have never called Obama a war criminal. I definitely have never called Obama a neoliberal shell. I definitely have never lumped Obama into the same category as the likes of Bush Jr. and Nixon and Reagan. Uh, I most assuredly have never referred to Obama as center right leaning. Uh, I definitely have never referred to Obama as a person who helmed the military prison industrial complex and is guilty of crimes against humanity. I most assuredly have never uh, pointed out that Obama basically ran on a cult of personality. Um, most assuredly. Yeah, all of these things I have never done. Um, and it, because of that, I really, I need to apologize um, uh, from, from, from the deepest place in my heart. I, I, I feel that I owe you and the world an apology for uh, never calling Obama the fucking war criminal that he is. Anyway. <clears throat> um, yeah, Viva, that, I mean, yeah, from my left lung. Um, um, yeah, Viva is accurate. Um, I was an Occupy organizer for fuck's sake. <laughs> I may still even have some of the vinyl that we cut for sign, uh, sign making. Um, so. <sighs> Ooh. All right, let me see it. This is the map of countries the U.S. has invaded, bombed, cooed, supported dictators, supported terrorists, and or interfered with elections since the 1900s. Uh, since 1900. Now, this is a more respectable map. Yeah, I, I think we're, we're going to get around to that cupcake. Um, red Her William Henry Harrison has been our, our, our single sticking point for the argument that all presidents are war criminals just because he didn't get a chance to do shit. Um... Shout out Mongolia. Um, yeah, like this, 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 this map is more, um, God, doom. Yes, I got it. Um, fucking Mongolian steps. Um, it's two P's though, I think in that, um, this is a, this is a map befitting the, the, um, spiritual inheritor of the British empire for sure. Yeah, I don't get it, Rabbit. Oh, I mean, we do it all the time, a lot of. Jesus Christ. Well, he's definitely back because I can hear the fans. Monaco forever. Uh, so what else? Did yeah, now we can. <laughs> yeah, is he working in a forge? Now we can. All right, cool. So one other thing I want to say is... Uh, as far as green energy, that's being locked up in uh, patents. It, they literally are patents that keep us from green energy. 
I so, have a huge fight with my conservative friends when it comes to getting off fossil fuel. So what I'm hearing is that in a, uh, that Adam Smith was correct. The rentier class are a bunch of parasites, and intellectual property rights need completely overhauling, if not dis dissolving com uh, 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 in its totality. I don't know what you. Uh, I, I, I've been switching around my computer. I don't. I don't know what you last said, but uh, yes, basically, if we have intimate domain to take people's land away, we have intimate domain to take intellectual rights away and and overhaul that whole thing the patent industry is running things there is so many green energy technologies that could get us off fossil fuel today um, that is being patent held and I, I finally heard someone from MIT there's an MIT professor uh, that did a TED talk about how they don't want to switch technology because it's too much money for them. The father of capitalism. Guy by the name of Adam Smith. He's an economist and a philosopher unto his own right. Referred to the rentier class, a.k.a. the class of people that make their money from rent, which is what intellectual property rights is. It's rent. Um, for the leasing and renting of items, commodities, products, and goods, uh, goods and services. He referred to them as parasites. Um, they were an overall drain on the economic system. This is the father of capitalism speaking. Not some crazy lefty, not Marx, not an anarchist, nobody fucking on the left. We're talking Adam Smith, the father of capitalism. Felt that things like intellectual property rights rent and the commodified form of housing were overall degradatory um, towards the economic flow and system as a whole. So you're not out of line with a classical cap capitalist in the form of, again, Adam Smith, by calling for the dissolution of intellectual property rights. It would be beneficial, potentially, in a number of sectors to dissolve that idea as a whole. Yes, I mean, I think we do with the power grid, um, water rights, that's been uh, done. Um, not, in, not in a good way, but uh, that has been explored. Um, Will Alexander, thank you for the biddies as always. Um, Will Alexander with the insane copy pasta writing. <clears throat> Elton John does own Tesla. Google it. He's the South African billionaire. He used to inject um, alpha tradile and tetrahydrogenestrone uh, 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 into his prostate to balloon it up to a massive size, but that backfired, isn't it? He is now focused on inhaling flammable gases with that idiot quan dye, uh, like oh, chlorine trifluoride. Do you honestly think that's not a major problem? The guy is not capable of running major companies like Tesla and SpaceX. Is he a billionaire? Yes, but he's a child. Will Alexander... I don't, I don't even know what kind of weird Mad Libs process you go through to write your, your copy pastas, but respect Will Alexander, as always. Um, so, so you guys are, you guys aren't like Elon Musk fans? Elon Musk is a fucking, how do I put this nicely? He's um, a narcissistic con man who likes to take credit for other people's work. Awesome, man. We got we got like so much in common. Um, I do too, Cat. I miss premaritals as well. Um, he is not the you know, yeah. Elon Musk takes credit for Elton John's work. Will Alexander, you're actually hanging out for a second. Um, always always love what you do, Will Alexander. Just know that. Um. That's why I only inject diethylamide directly into my eyeball. So much safer for the prostate. Exactly, rabbit. <laughs> um, yeah, exactly, Amherst. He's the Thomas Edison of our time. He is. He is. He's legitimately the Thomas Edison of our time. Yeah. Although I think Thomas Edison invented more shit than Elon Musk, to be perfectly honest. Um, Elon Musk did... He worked on... 
Oh, the listing, the listing site that got sold. That was essentially a yellow pages. He, he actually worked on that. It was like a local directory website. He sold that for a stupid amount of money. Um, and then, um, X.com got merged with PayPal and he was so terrible at X.com that the board removed him. Um, when merged with PayPal, he was such a terrible influence. They basically backseated him to Peter Thiel. Um, Peter Thiel actually made PayPal money. Um, as I understand it, it was a disagreement over the underlying technologies. Um, yes, it was the Zip2 company. Yes, uh, Rabbit, Zip2. That was, it was essentially a local directory. Um, um, Peter Thiel was in favor of using open source solutions, whereas Elon Musk advocated for uh, using all Windows-based technologies to run PayPal and to develop PayPal and was just a nightmare to work for behind the scenes. Um, so the board of directors backed Peter, Peter Thiel instead, um, but when Musk managed to cash out the shares, he made a f absolute fortune on those shares. Um, and then he, oh, I forget the exact order of operations on which companies he bought in which order after that. Um, but yes, he most assuredly bought the founders, uh, the rights to the uh, rights to the title of founder, uh, for Tesla, because the two founders of the company sold him the rights to call himself a founder, which is just ridiculous. Um, and yeah, like legitimately Elon Musk has done nothing other than take, um, venture capital and roll it into the next project in combination with uh, taxpayer bailout money anytime he rides up to the line of um, bankruptcy with a company. And then he generally uses stock manipulation, pump and dump schemes, um, and otherwise um, what would be illegal for anybody who apparently isn't Elon Musk, uh, methods of uh, market manipulation. Um, to boost things like the uh, crashing, the absolute plummeting um, uh, Solar City stock prices. Solar City was like a moments away from being um, bankrupt, um, but he invested. He got SpaceX to invest in it, and basically did a pump and dump scheme with that. It, it's yeah, yeah. It's it's Elon Musk is. Um, yeah, he's Elon Musk. Uh, it, yes. It, hey, now just bailouts. He's also taken an. Uh, he's also taken a few direct government grants. Uh, and Boca Chica, he, Boca Chica, he's he's harming the environment. That environment in Boca Chica is so delicate. It's got turtles. It's got different kinds of cats in it. He's building an industrial launch site in that that quiet neighborhood. Oh, and, uh, a billionaire that doesn't care it, about it, people. It, Shocking. Okay, uh, so I don't want to um, I don't want to think I'm buying your influence or anything, but um, I'm going to give some subs. Is that alright? Yeah, by all means. Um, Elon Musk. Yeah, I, oh yes, and his father knocked up his sister. I didn't hear that before, but um, yeah, yeah, um, fucking, um, he he had um he had a baby with his with his stepsister here, um, fucking, where's the picture? There's the picture. Here she is. Oh, I have you on now. Yep. Um. Oh, wow. Yeah, he, um, let's see. Uh, Jana was four years old when Errol, Elon's father, 
uh, Errol married her mother, Heidi, with whom he had even more kids. Harold never, Errol never considered Janet as his own daughter since she mostly stayed away from the family. They connected years later when Errol was helping her cope with a breakup. We were lonely lost people. One thing led to another. You can call it God's plan or nature's plan. And baby. And baby. Uh, so Elon's dad fucking pulled a, a, a Woody Allen. McBoyles. Um, all right. Well, thanks for the, uh, thank you for the, uh, 10 gift bomb. Let's see who got him. Shiloh got him. Klept oh God. Klepto got one. Um, some more, uh, Yogi got one. Adia got one. Buffet got one. I don't know who Katie is. Uh, Sorenza Lamas, uh, Sorenzo Yamas. Hey, Corey got one and Aka got one. Cool. At least a few of the regulars out of there. Um, did you see the full chicken nugget head at the KFC in the UK? Someone meal? No, but that happens from time to time. Buffet. Um, uh, cupcake klepto was, I don't know, acting weird. Uh, klepto klepto was the one who said that uh, when I responded, klepto got invited on air and uh, responded to me saying I was an anarchist by saying, "Oh well, you're the ones we should be beating up then instead." Klepto was that guy. Um. Yeah, the KFC chicken th chicken head thing um, happens from time to time. Um, yeah, it's been it's been happening like every couple of years, my entire life. Um, I, I'm just so, I'm so, I'm so glad you're awake and you're you're thinking and you're not um, going with the corporations. I mean. I'm an anarchist. <laughs> it's kind of our entire bag. It's like literally what we do. Uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken Head predates the internet. It does be over. 100% it does. Um, yeah, the Kentucky Fried Chicken Head thing is just, it just happens. Um, chicken heads are still chicken meat, so yeah. Not, there's a little bit of, there's a little bit of something you can get off that. Get off that chicken head. A little bit. Oh, I kind of want to murder some zombies. Are y'all down for me, like, playing a game? Like, I don't play games that often. So I always feel like I'm, I'm baiting and switching some motherfuckers if I play a game. Um, proof it's actually chicken, huh? Yeah, I know, right, be over? That alone is, fu is what, uh, what's what. <laughs> Aw, thank you, car accident. Oh, thank you, Viva Life. Uh, chicken feet. Oh, dude, I'm down with the chicken feet. Um, chicken feet are good, good fucking eating. All right. Um. All right. Um. All right. Biking. I I will let you wrap up here and say whatever you're gonna say. Uh, you feel like you want to say and thank you again for the ten gift bombs subs. Um. And I guess like for whatever reason, like you know, welcome back to the community. Don't earn a second ban. <laughs> um. But yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna switch over to dying light. I think. Hey, you know, all I want to say is um the. Uh The truth is being withheld from us. We definitely do not know the truth. It, it's it's corporation lies, um, and I'm glad people think about that. And like I said, you know, back in I don't want this to be my street cred, but I did fight for that, and it, it is absolutely true. They would Central Florida Hospital would not allow a gay person to go visit their friend in the ICU, to go visit their lover in the ICU. You had to say, oh, I'm his uh, brother's lover, or his, like, like, you know, like a guy, a girl. You, know, you had to say that, you know, I'm, I'm the brother of his, of his uh, girl lover. I mean, they were just like hardcore on that. And no one believes me. Yeah, Doom, it took and us a number of years to get to that point, yeah. Um, all right. No one believes there used to be like crosses burning in, in black people's uh, yards. 
Um, Back in the 1990s, yeah, that happened. And that was like, what, 30 years ago? Yeah. Yeah, not that, not that far ago. Man. There was a struggle. Doom, where are you? Um, all right, well. I move around myself. Um, oh, I was asking Doom Nukem because I'm um, saying uh, they're, they're in deep Catholic country. Um, same sex and adoption is allowed. Um, oh, Portugal. Okay. Um, all right. I'm fucking based, by the way, Doom. Um, if, I, if, I ever, if I'm ever in that part of the world, Doom, I'll look you up. Um, all right. Uh, biking. Yeah, I'm going to let you go. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for, like, Thanks for the gift subs. Um, and feel free, like chat's gonna be active. Um, I'm just gonna switch over to um, fucking like beating some zombies um, in the head now. So I'm gonna let you go, my man. All right, cool. Bye. Bye. Um, all right. Gonna, we're gonna take care of that. Um, all right. <sighs> Bam updated um all right hang on let me move some stuff around <laughs> uh do i have i have yes there we go Uh, yeah, oh yeah, Rev. All right. Um, there we go. All right, I can, yeah, chat will still be on screen for you guys and the will remain inside and I don't know where I am or what I'm doing, but I've got a bunch of fucking stuff fetch quests i fucking hate fetch quests but i can use the xp lake of the dram all right that's where the dulce and dulce is all right got it And I do believe I have music turned off on this game. And that Canadian girl, Katie. Yes. Um, all right. All right, we'll do that. Um, actually, let's figure out some shit. Also, if anybody wants to jump on the air and talk, talk with me, talk to me, that sort of thing, like some of the regulars or... That sort of stuff. Uh, what is here? There's something nearby. Yep, okay. She told me to every fucking... Where is... Um, there we go. I'm going to move... There we go. Put that over there. All right. I mean, it kind of is, Rabbit. <laughs> oh, I hate those vertical roofs. All right, um, somewhere in here. Oh, sidewalk. That was such a fucking obnoxious conversation. What's out there? Oh. Can I steal from their fridge? Okay, well, there is literally He's nothing not here. Oh. Well, you'd better go find him.
Yes, Mina? Hey, I want to help your mom. Can you talk to me? Your mom's in danger. I need to find her. She's gone. She was beaten. Harun says you can't be here once you've been beaten. I'm going to get her to a place that has medicine. They won't make her leave. Now, can you tell me what happened to you and your brother? Me and Jamil went under the fence to find our mom. Hot take. I skip most of the cutscenes in this game. This game needs um this game needs an editor. I I honestly I I enjoy like it, get me involved in your world. Get me involved like legitimately some of the cutscenes in this game for just like stupid fetch quests, you you end up skipping like 9 to 12 cutscenes. You're just like hammering skip. It took a while, but we found her at the houses behind the tunnel. Only there was a biter there. He beat me, and my mom hit him on the head. You were bitten? Only a little. I tried to get away. What did your mom do? She put us in a house, and then she went to look for medicine. When she came back, she told Jamil to wait there, and then she took me to the man. Did he give you medicine? Yes. He said we would both need more, but that me and my mom could stay in his basement as his puppets. I don't oh, know what shit. he meant, but my mom got scared and hit him and told me to run. So I did. It's all right, Yasmina. I'll find her. Where does the man live? I'm not sure. It's a house with hammers and, and axes. And where's your brother? Jamil is hiding in the house with the red flowers. You're a brave girl, Yasmina, but I need you to stay here a little longer, okay? And keep away from Harun until I get back. Can you do that? You're really going to find my brother and mom? Yeah, you bet I will. Thank you, mister. Yeah, whatever. Uh, Amorous. Um, can I talk to you? No. Uh, Amorous, Metal Gear Solid Five still has the most obnoxious fucking intro sequence I have ever I'm looking for Harun. Endured. Harun? If a toothache was a man, it would be Harun. If you see him, could you push him into a hole? I think they did, Red. I legitimately think they did. Where can I find Harun? Yeah, most likely he's under the bridge. That is where most trolls reside. Eating fish heads, perhaps. Oh, I fucking, okay, so I just did the bridge mission and I was fucking out there. I was wondering what that camp was about. you see I'm busy. Why'd you force that woman to leave the village? You mean Ida? She's infected. All infected gotta go outside. Is that Gersel's rule? Some people don't want to make the tough calls around here. Well, I did. If Ida didn't want to get thrown out, she shouldn't have let herself get bit. Tough luck. Bad break. What about her kids? What about them? There's no answers in around here. I was doing them a favor so they wouldn't have to watch us hacking up their mum when she turns into a fucking monster. I'm starting not to like you. Hey, I'm not looking for trouble. You seem like a good guy. Have a nice day, okay? Dude, Amorous, it wasn't a straight no, cutscene, but the intro <clears throat> to um, MGS, uh, MGSV5, uh, I'm sorry, MGS5, uh, it's not a cutscene because you're like active in it, but dude, that thing's like an hour and a half or whatever. Dude, that entire intro to Metal Gear 5 is just a nightmare to play. What the fuck, bitch? Oh, I hate these fucking... You... Okay. All right. This motherfucker is hopping nimbly bimbly from place to place he cannot run he can't run up these 
You see the you see this uh you see this? He can't go up these. This is this is this is too much for him. Okay. This guy. This guy. That was too much for. Where am I going? <laughs> Skyrim. somebody Ooh, spiky spiky Does it extend all the way over here all right so search zones all the way over here cool easier. Ooh. Place was packed. Nice. Come here. I've got a special deal for you. Oh, wait, I got some broken shit. Uh, yeah, this can be sold. Okay, first off, sell the val valuables. All right, sell that. Repairs. Um, but that one's not dead yet. All right, cool. Um... What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Ooh! You know what? I've been needing one of those. I'll just take one. Thank you. Cool. Thank you kindly. Alright. So anyway, back to the task at hand. Nope, nope, all right. Dude, this is loot heaven. Yeah, shit going on in there. Come here.
Yes, yes, you're traumatized and blah, 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 blah. Shut the fuck up. Let's see if we can't get this annoying kid to shut the fuck up. Help, Mom, help! Hang on, take it easy, take it easy. I won't hurt you. You're Jamil, right? Y yes Okay, I'm looking for your mom. Can you tell me where she is? Yasmina was bitten by one of those creatures. So Mom took her to a man that found a medicine that fell from the sky. She said his name was Salim. Do you know where Salim lives? In the tool shop. All right, now listen to me, Jamil. I'm going to go get your mom and come back for you. So you wait right here, okay? Okay, and just stop. come back soon. Yeah, yeah. We will. stop Don't being worry. such a whiny little bitch, Jamil. Oh, that's right, I'm going up. Wait, yeah. Weird. Um, alright. Where am I headed? Oh, fuck you. Alright, what else do I have to do over there? Excuse me? There we go. No trash pile. Of course, no trash pile. Why would there be a trash pile there? not like a perfect overlook for a trash pile. No. No, not at all. Uh. Oh, fuck you. I hit that. Okay, look, I've been playing this game for a little bit. I can say this unequivocally. The parkour system still needs work. 
I hope in Dying Light 2 they fucking fix some of that shit because there are some jumps that are just ridiculous. You're like, why can I not get on top of this car? Thinking fucking Superman is way up a fucking side of this, no problem, but hopping onto a car bumper, it's too much. Cars are slippery. Uh, so down. Uh. Just, just nothing. Just a dead door. Great. Salim, Salim, we need to talk. Go away. I'm armed, so you better get the hell out of here. You have to let Ida go. You mean that stupid woman? She's dead. She was infected, so I had to kill her. Now, her daughter says you have answers in. I don't know anything about this. It has nothing to do with me. Salim, I'm not leaving without her. Oh, yeah? So you want to have a party? How about I invite some more guests? Really? What the fuck? Yeah. Alright. My roof. What's up, homie? I'm oh, sure, I think I had some bodies to collect over here. Uh, the infected are eliminated. Oh no, there's one over there that's not aggroed. Hey, 
Where is this motherfucker? Goddamn zombie strippers. I think he was saying something to me. Anyway. Fucking go Yeah, just what I wanted. Alright, night caboose. Yep. Oh, fuck you. Where was that? There we go. That's it. Really? Oh. Drop. There's a drop somewhere. It's all the way over there. Uh, yes, cat. Basically, every game did. Yes. Oh, yeah. This isn't creepy at all. Oh, God. What has he done to you? Those aren't her kids. So, I'm just gonna go out and like, look, yeah, yeah, it's stock footage. Uh, but like, the implication here is that he's done this more than once. Take it easy, take it easy, you're free. Yes, Mina, my daughter, she went. She's safe, she's back at the village. Your son's still hiding at the house where you left him. What am I going to do? We can't stay in the village. Haron will throw us out again. You're going to take your kids and go to the tower. I want you to find a doctor there named Lena. Tell her that Crane says to take care of you, and that he'll make sure there's enough antizin for you and your daughter. You are Crane? Yeah, yeah, I'm Crane. Now go back to Jamil. He's waiting for you. Yasmina's with your sister. <sighs> Thank you for being kind to me. I didn't think there was any kindness left. A little, little extra XP wouldn't hurt you. All right. Oh. All right. Now. Um. The poisonous herbs are down like somewhere else entirely. Yeah, those are like. Oh, I know where those are. Um, that's a nighttime thing. Yeah. Uh, you know what? That's doable.
Yep, don't care. Um, all right. How much I need? Five. That was it, but apparently that's not collectible. Hey, Pastique. Somebody was talking about you earlier. Good thing. So we're just hope, uh, wishing you were here. is approximately two minutes from, from saying fuck this quest. Yeah, rabbit. I'm I'm in that camp 100%. Fucking All right, what is this? 
Yeah. Hold C while in midair to execute. Oh, two-handed weapon only. That's a two-handed weapon only. Uh, you know what? I'll take the XP boost. Wait, I saw it. Where is it? All right. Fuck that quest. Done. Um, just, just find some binoculars along the way. Got it. Um, oh, hey, I'm right here. Fuck yeah. All right, I'll do that. What's your guys' um, policy on, like, quests, uh, quest itemization and shit like that? Like, I like to get all of the quests and then, like, make sure I'm in the neighborhood and do, like, one, two, or three things at once. Or are you just sort of, like, I'll, like, you do them one at a time sort of situation? Uh, oh, hey, I was there. That area was clear, you fuckers. I'm going to get some elevation because I know how to do that here. Uh, well, Lada, um, yeah, if you want, you can. It's it's double points at night, Wolada. That's 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 how it works. It's double points at night. Collect, do a do them all at once. Pisses me off if I miss a quest. I have to go back. Yeah, Raphael, uh, Raphael, I'm in that camp. Oh fuck! I'm not even in your space. Motherfucker, I wasn't even in your stupid camp and you're aggroed on me. Fuck you. Sure. Why not? like that. Um. I'm you. Oh, I'm in a fucking safe space. I literally can't throw a weapon. Fuck this entire quest. I wonder if I can lure some zombies in there. there you are. <laughs> All right, there. That should clear some space. All right. Let's see how they like fire.
Oh, that's on me. Gotta run, gotta run, gotta run right now. Gotta run right now. So the zombies cannot get in there. Alright. And yes, I just ran over that guy's head. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly, Lada. Just gonna, I'm just gonna set myself on fire and try and give the guy a hug. Really? There we go. He's killing everyone. Oops. Uh, let's see. Let's make some Molotovs and light some of these fuckers on fire. That's always fun.
cat. Oh, there's somebody over there. Oh, some zombies did get in. Have fun with that. Yeah, it looks like a bad time. Maybe, instead of fighting fellow human beings, they should have, um, you know, cooperated. Wanna, now you want to talk. Yeah, homie doesn't... Hey, bit of win! What's up? Homie doesn't take fucking uh, prisoners. Anyway. That's <laughs> what y'all find. Keys. Keys to what? Oh, hey now. All right. Uh, we got some decisions to make here really quickly. Jesus Christ. All right. Hammer 54. Okay. You're, you're getting consumed. Um, 82, 78, 63. You're gone. All right. Rifle. Military rifle. Fucking crowbar, but 94, which is... All right, hang on. Gotta hit inventory management. 78. Screw it. It's superior. I'll take it. Where's Doofy McGee over here? 71. That's not bad. Um, 82, 91, 68. Oh, you're gone. There you go. Twenty-four. All right. All right. I came through here. Ich bin, ich bin ein Berliner. I am a donut. Is there anything in this one? No. Pretty sure? Yeah, pretty sure. No? Okay, well, what the fuck am I supposed to find here? I found some keys. Lockers are cleaned. Uh, nope, it's not up in there. Can I hit you? Ah! I can. Alright. Ooh, more Molotov. Um... I 
could sell these for buku bucks too. Oh, ninety one, ninety one, ninety eighty two, seventy six. There we go. Hey, that looks like that's something. There you go. Skill points gained at night are doubled. Okay. <laughs> nope. All right. Does anybody got any hints? What the fuck do I do? I know at least a couple of you played Dying Light. What is, what is? What am I missing here? What am I searching for? That. There's no prompt on it whatsoever. Cool. Great game design. All right. All the way back to there. Jesus Christ. Um, all right. Let's try it. Let's try it. All right, and then That's not bad. I'll take that. Oh. What was the sickle one? Candy cutter. What am I missing? Toxic lichen. God damn it. All right. <sighs> Inmate's kiss is 78. No, I'm sorry. 366. Yeah, that's my favorite, actually. Um, 76, 78. Go with that. All right, and blueprints. Is there any? And that would have put it at. That's uh, comparable. Oh Jesus Christ! It's still. Where's the nearest shop? Where's the nearest shop? Where's the nearest shop? <laughs> I'm being greedy, everyone. I'm being greedy. Um, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to go up there at... Yeah. All right. This is gonna be a run. This is gonna be a run. All right, here we go. What the, f just random geometry.
close. It's so close. And I kind of have to head that direction. All right. I can get up. Okay, hang on. Search every corner. Everything's going on the truck. I don't want another horseman here. We clear? Yes, boss. I found booze. Hey, if I smell it on any of you, you're going to... Oh, they have just, uh, they have just, they have just committed a faux pas. I'm, I'm out. <laughs> There's going to be a bunch of fucking zombies coming towards them. <laughs> I'm out. They, they can deal with that themselves. Yep. It's a single airdrop. Fuck it. Fuck you. Run. Really? Oh, it's raining. If you're wondering how dark it is, trust me, it's dark. Which one of these punk bitches wanted the boom booms? You? Nope. Jafar, Rice's man really found something. Something valuable? Yeah, is dynamite worth a lot? Dynamite is gold. We could cook you up something special with that. Kurt's a natural when it comes to this stuff. All right, one pack for you, the rest for me. Kurt will figure out how to give it some oomph. We'll be in touch. Nimble hands, yes. Uh, 
Um, all right. Yeah, where? Where am I turning it in? Oh, Jesus Christ. They can go fuck themselves. Um. Yeah, this motherfucker. Tower. I can make it to the tower. Tower's over there. All right. That was a clean jump. Or just get stuck on a thing. Cool. What is with all the... You should watch your step. You should fuck off. I will murder you. You wouldn't have to know where Kristoff is, would you? Kristoff? You mean the new scout? I was supervising all the scouts. Why don't you ask him? He's on the 19th floor. You got something for us? Thanks a lot. Hey, have you seen that house with the red smoke pouring out of it? If Rise's people spot it, they're gonna come knocking on his door. Someone ought to warn him. I've got enough trouble right now, but I'll think about it. Yeah, Rev, except I can't. They've set up fucking safe zones in this game. And so I can't draw my weapon in this area, which is just absolutely game-breaking. There have been so many NPCs that I would have murdered at this point. I know, right? Fucking pathetic. Like that. You got it? Great. Here's the key I promised you. It's to my old pawn shop, you know? Used to be the best yeah. in town. Who would have hey, fucking the pawn guessed? Shop, the pawn shop owner wanted a gun from me. I need you to bring me something from the shop. You're going there anyway, right? What is it? It's a... Don't laugh, okay? Dying it's a light. It's call action figure. Rev, I know dying it light. Silly, it means a lot to my son. Uh, maybe, maybe. Where? All right. Um, is there anything else that I need to do while I'm here? Oh, Buckshot's got a thing for me again. No, that was a pain in the ass. Oh, wait, did I? Yeah, I didn't level my agility either. Use throwing weapons or a UV flashlight while looking behind in sprint. Oh, yeah, I've been wanting this one. Uh, Shane, yes, it is. I actually don't have much time for gaming, to be perfectly honest, Shane. Um... <clears throat> But you, normally you'd find me over in politics or just chatting. But tonight I felt like uh, continuing my playthrough of Dying Light. So that's what we're doing. 
Uh, oh, fuck yeah. Dude, uh, super amazing. That that kind of shit just breaks it for me. Uh, no, uh, Rev, it is offline. Uh, it's got online co-op and shit like that, but it is an offline game if you want it to be. So... Alright, where is this stupid fucking... Ah! I, you know what? That's not too bad. That's not too bad. As far as fetch quests go, I can live with that. <gasps> yeah, totally forgot to do what I wanted to do, though. Why am I going to him? Come here, of course. Yes. What's up, homie? Ah, uh, let's see. So the military rifle is worse than the. Pl All right. Oh, Will Alexander, fucking, I can't even, let's see, what is it? Uh, brother, just stop the nonsense. We know you and Paolo have been in touch. You're too good, too proud to hide in Nunavut like him, but your past in the rotting wood trade will catch up. Bolsonaro's men are ready to kick down your door if you don't hide in Nunavut. You, David Sato, and Paolo Moreira uh, should all count your blessings. Brazil demands proper wood. Um... So the military rifle, <laughs> Will Alexander, brilliant as always. Uh, the military rifle is less powerful and is worse than the police rifle. the The police rifle is better than the military rifle. Yeah. Um. Okay. Sell that. Um. I'm going to let's see. This is not the kind of game that you. Let's see. Is this broken yet? Repairs zero. Oh, I still have a little bit on that. All right, so I got rid of two of those. Special deal for. Oh yeah, I want to look at what you had to buy. Uh, I'll take some pistol ammo. Is that? Well, that's that's obtuse. Um, I'll buy some rifle ammo. I don't have a shotgun, so I don't care about that. But I will take that. Um, yeah, sure, why not? Um, yeah, why not? And all that. Cool. Yeah. Um, yeah. Is this... No, that's that weird devil game thing. I don't want to play that. I'm getting more calls from other parts. To the city. This is bad. It is. All right. So that means there's my stash. Um, all right. We're going to dump a couple of rifles for sure um, blueprints cool um, inventory God, you know what? I want to sell that thing. Um, did I? Okay, so I did. Um, let's upgrade that. Why not? Sure. All right, and. Oh yeah, I was already there. Duh. Um, sell. That fucking axe. I hate that axe. I hate slow weapons. 
not a fan of slow weapons. Let's just put it that way. Walking on the spikes for me. Oh, boo, they're pathing around. here. Wait for any of the clusterfuck that happens. Cool. See where. There's the action figure for the kid. Done. 
Oh, you know what though? I can scrap them and have parts. There we go. All right, rusty pipe wrench. stuff upstairs. <laughs> oh well. So what are y'all on to? Uh, who wants to who wants to give Kai a fucking quick summary? Y'all y'all been going on about some linguistics. I, I saw that. Ugh. Why am I sober? Wait a second. What the hell happened? I heard the shots. I oh. knew he was going to snap. How did he get the gun? Just glad he didn't kill anyone. What happened? Where's the wood? He has gone. And he has taken my boy. Okay, can you tell me what happened? He has wanted to leave for weeks, but I thought it was too dangerous. We have been fighting about it. Then he took a gun and took all of our money and kidnapped Sammy. He took my son. Do you know where he's going? He said he found a way out, but I don't know what it means. He would not tell me. Ya Allah. How could he do this? How did he get a gun? I'm sorry, Sama. I got it for him. He said he would use it to get both of you out. La la la. La la la. Dawood does not want me. He has not wanted me for a long time. Now he has what he wants. <coughs> I'll get your son back, Sama. I don't know how, but I will. Does that feel like? <clears throat> does that feel like some Middle Eastern shit? Like, um, that feels like some Middle Eastern commentary. That feels like some Islamic commentary, right? Like the the sort of like stealing the kid, 
and like the eschewing of the woman and like that feels like that movie. I forget that movie, but we talked about that movie one time. That feels like some commentary. Um, which language's written form is the most contrived? So far, the debate seems to hinge on who can read the oldest book. Um, would it not? Hang on. Would it not hinge? Yeah, it would hinge upon that. Um, well, contrived is a very specific connotation. Right? Contrived means something. So... Which language feels the most forced or unnatural? Uh, preach. I'm fucking, I'm with the rabbit on that one. Um, would it not be something with, um, yeah, like Esperanto would be, I'm like, I'm in that camp. Like if, if, if we're going with contrived, right? Like it can, Esperanto is manufactured. A uh, Korean, the modern Korean. Um, yeah, the GL, I don't count any of that bullshit. Um, conlangs don't count. Conlangs cannot count. Um, you can't, you can't be, you can't be counting conlangs. They, they are literally constructed languages. Um, yeah, the modern Korean is a written, like was completely like manufactured. Um, Cupcake? Is Cupcake here? I don't know if Cupcake re uh, speaks or reads Hebrew. Unnecessary accent marks and antiquated spellings that don't have anything to do with pronunciation? Oh, well, in that case, Rabbit, um, the French have a lot to answer, answer for. Um, the French and, um, oh, God, Albanian. Albanian. Uh, has a lot to answer for as well. Um, but. Yep, that's been the consensus so far as the French. <laughs> the French have a lot to answer for in that in that in that neighborhood then for sure. Um, yeah, if y'all wonder why I'm looking up here, like chats up here right now. It's on the it's on the top monitor. Uh Oh, the French numerical system is absolutely bullshit. The French, the, the the French numerical system is atrocious. That yeah, no that that is that is a crime against humanity and needs to be answered for. Yeah, it, it's it's their numerical counting, their linguistic counting system for for uh, numericism is ridiculous it's ridiculous that's definitely the word i want to use here right like that dude yeah that it's bullshit <laughs> what can't you count to 420 10 9 yeah right uh it has a history and technically we have two different systems <laughs> that's not a good sign Imagine gatekeeping numbers. Oh, uh, yeah, that's that's not a good sign when you're like, we need two, we need two different counting systems <laughs> because this one is bullshit. <laughs> uh, let's see. Hang on, I have to I have to allow that. There we go, and then back on the screen. Um, Uh, Rye, I, at least it's not the other direction, right? Like, um, like 1200 versus 1200, but both are accepted methods. Both are, um, understood by any native speaker, by anybody. It, it's, it, 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 at least it, it just sort of, 
I get it. It's two ways of saying the same thing. At least it's not two different things saying one thing. I guess is what I'm saying. Like you know, as far as the other direction, it that is that is legitimately just two different ways of saying the same thing. Whereas like the French one, it, it's it's like two different systems. <laughs> you know, like what the fuck? Um. So. Yeah. No. That. Uh, uh, look. Arabic numerals, English. Right, like, like, oh well. They, I mean, well, I, I, well, a lot of as far as you know, yeah. I, I prefer a U.S. English with Arabic numerology, and fuck it, just let's go Arab numerals and U.S. English. I'm good. Uh, we could use a trim up though. Uh, we could use a trim up. I, I think there's all sorts of interesting things in language that, like, if we kind of had like a Congress that we like came together as a people and we're like, all right, look, this shit's got to end. This shit's got to end. This is stupid. That was a really good idea. Why haven't we been doing that? Put that in that sort of thing. Like if we just sort of drafted it one year, it would be great. There, there's a whole bunch of stuff that we could do that we don't do. And there's a whole bunch of spellings and overlaps. Um, dude, the, the, the CH thing for foreign language learners Dude, that CH thing is bullshit. It's sh, it's k, and it's ch. There are three different, am I forgetting a fourth one? But there's at least three different pronunciations of just the letters CH. And we have a k, we have a k, okay? We could, we could get rid of that. We already have SH for sh, so we could get rid of that entirely as well, right? Like... Yeah, oh, and sometimes the, well, that would be Bach. You know, you put the on it, but like, it's still kind of a K. Um, like that, that dude, our language is goofy. Our language is goofy, but it's one of the better ones. I'll, I'll stand by it. I like English. I think it's a good one. I, if I had my way, if I had my way, <laughs> look, you can, um, Oh, God. Oh, God. That is a nightmare, non-binary. That is a nightmare. So you hate theater, accessorize, accessorized, ex uh, accessories, accessorizing, acclimatization, acclimatize, acclimatized, acclimatizes, acclimatizing, accoutrement, Aeon, Eon, Aerogram, Aerograms, Aeroplane, Aeroplanes, uh, Athlete, est uh, est uh, Oh my god, Aesthetes, and Aesthetic. Ooh, I was handling until the end there, but the stoner brain just goes, oh, I don't say that one that often, and had to actually do the work. Um, pff, that was a fucking... Um, English TH for non-native still makes me cry. Dude, the the... It's a, it's a bit goofy. It's a bit goofy sometimes. Yeah, I'd like to tighten it up. Um, oh, GL. Yeah, I get that. Uh, oh, for sure better than French. For sure better than French. Yeah. Oh, and real uh, DOA. Thanks for the follow, by the way. Um, yeah, that, that dude... Oh, I know, right, uh, Rabbit? Yeah. I want Thorn back. Thorn's a great, I like the symmetry of it. It looks, I just like Thorn as a letter. I like it. We should bring it back. It'd be good. Um. Oh, Rev, I've told the story before. Um, I, senior, senior, high school senior English was British literature, um, honors, and... It was only an honors class. There was no other. It was British lit. It was just the honors senior honors class. Um, we got put in there, and the overflow um, from a class from the remedial class got shut down. The remedial class didn't meet 
uh, size requirements. So they got shut down and they got rolled into another small class. You, you want to know who they fucking rolled the, the seniors remedial English into? Yeah. They rolled it into the honors British literature class. I shit you not. I still fucking I, teacher, my buddy, my buddy was in, fucking behind and next to me, depending on our seating. Um, and he was brilliant by the way, like properly brilliant. I, I still, I, I need to look him up fucking see what he got up to. He was like classically like brilliant um to the deficit of like other stuff. Um but we had a football player in my class that literally was asked to read a piece aloud and he said to he. He said to he. He said to he. It it, it, it he was in 12th grade and he didn't know how to pronounce the or the it was not a a misspeak it was not a misstep he said to he multiple times this is how he pronounced the or the and it was like we we put up with a fair amount of this until like my buddy and I talked to our teacher and said we can't we can't she cut us a deal and said, you can skip, you can skip coming into class. Just make sure you do the work, make your, make sure you do the reading and the work. And you know, when there's times you need to be here, I'll let you know. So we, we got a free pass. We got a free pass our senior year. Um, and like, we just didn't have to come into first class, uh, first hour. It's brilliant. Um, but yeah, it was, it was bad. Um, let's see. I had that happen. The honors English got rolled into the remedial English course, which did nothing but insult everybody in the room. Yeah, rabbit. It's 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 brutal. Been there, seen it firsthand. Um, sheet and shit, beach and bitch. I can't pronounce them differently, says Amrose. With his it was Amrose's accent. Those all say they they all. Sound exactly the same. That's brilliant. I got assigned remedial algebra in ninth because I stayed home in eighth. I took a standardized test, got every single math question right, and I still I, I didn't show any work, so they thought I cheated. Rev been there with the not showing work. I I hated showing my work. Showing my work was more work than doing the math. I could do the math. The math wasn't that complicated. Sorry, it, it just it wasn't that complicated. Um, for all of those like lower levels, everything like up to and including like certain levels of algebra, I was fine doing that just like computationally in my head. That was not a big deal for me. Showing my work was a lot of fucking work. And that's usually where I failed. I was like, I don't, I don't need to be like conscious of a lot of this stuff. My brain can do this shit and I don't need to be checked in for it. And I'm not doing anything with hard math. So you don't need to be worrying about like an engineer or an architect or some shit like that who you need to check their math. I, it won't matter for me. So like, I, I never understood that. Uh, ah, technically called minimal phonetic pairs as in, I remember sheet, shit, beach, bitch. Um, nice. Oh God. Yes. Yeah. Rabbit. Uh, the one that fucked me up rabbit was Uria. I didn't, that was my first encounter, right? It's not the worst example of like their weird, like slide, but it fucked me up. I was in fifth grade and I had, I had aced like hundred percented spelling tests forever. My mom was a stickler about spelling and vocabulary. Um, and so like I regularly got hundreds. I failed my first spelling test ever in my academic history in fifth grade in Tennessee. And one of the ones for that, like to this day, they came in and she said, he didn't know how to spell Uria. And my, my mom and father, I'm sorry, what? He didn't know how to spell Uria even. What is an Uria. Fun fact, young Kai did spell Uria. I spelled it phonetically. I was like, she wants, I don't know what this word is, but she wants Uria. I got you. 
So it's spelled Uria phonetically. Um, and yeah, like it was, it was brutal. It was like, I don't know what they're saying half the time. <laughs> uh, Oh, Jesus Christ. Interesting, Rev. Yeah. Right. Yeah, the the Earl the um the Earl one is is great. Um Rabbit. I still love fucking Earl. Fucking Yeah, you gotta occasionally you gotta put some Earl up on the roof. Just don't let it run down in the creek. It's like what what are you what are you talking about? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm not gonna go get this bitch's kid. The wood. Answer me, you son of a bitch. Answer me. I think I can see. No need to shout, Crane. No need to follow me either. It's pointless. Please, tell Salma I'm sorry. I had no choice. Sammy's gonna be safe, I swear. Wait, don't. Dawood! Dawood! Where are you? Shit. I do run into that motherfucker again. I know that about this game. Um. Uh, well, Lada, um, it does, but nothing I was headed towards would have needed it. The, the cryptography I did back in the day, um, I, yeah, like, that was when I was still proficient at math. Now, yeah, I haven't used it in ages. Um, oh yeah, yeah, I consider, I consider any of the Cajun Creole sort of territory rabbit literally a, just a distinct language. I don't, I, I, I don't at all recognize that as the same language. That's no, not at all. Easier to communicate over radio. Have you noticed? Um, yeah, sure. I can buy that. Um, how much is this can I carry? Okay. Did I keep one? I didn't keep any any rifle. I should I should keep a rifle just in case. That was stupid. Just right around the corner. <laughs> oh. oh, wrong room. All right, keep one of those rifles. All right, I, I've been like role playing the typical role. Like that's what I would be dressed as like if, if I were there, but we do have other options. I'm just saying <clears throat> there, there, are, there are stupid looking outfits in here too. Every, every, like they, they've got like all of the nationalities. <laughs> Like, they, not all of them. They've only got a handful of them. But. <laughs> oh, we could have some fun role playing that. Uh, <laughs> Wait, is there not... Holy shit. Um, okay. Um, um, does anybody else catch this? There, there is no German. There's, there's like, they're like, everybody else can have your flag on a shirt. Germany? <laughs> Germany? Nope. Nope. <laughs> the developer's Polish. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, last time we let you guys start getting nationalistic. <laughs> That's 
Brilliant. Oh. I could dress as a clown. <laughs> check, check is there Russian? All right. Hold on. Scrolling. Yeah, there will be. Watch. There will be. Watch. Yep. Yep. Rus Ruskies made it. And Germany know what, knows what they did. I know, right? Dude, Germany's not on the list. They got like South African up in this bitch. They got Scottish. They got Thai. They got Welsh. All right. Like they've got Ukrainian. <laughs> they just, they don't have German. They have Canadian. They've got Brazilian, right? Like these are these are the greatest hits. They've got even uh, the Czech. No Germany. Yeah, I. That's 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 great. Fucking Kiwi. <laughs> yep. Ah, oh, it's just Germany. It's fucking brilliant. Oh, what am I doing here? Oh, do I have something? Hey, Green. Back from the field, huh? No, not for long. You know about a scout named Kristoff? Uh, the new kid, huh? Yeah, he went on a recon mission, but I haven't heard from him in a while. Rahim checked him out and said he was solid, but uh, I'm not so sure. <laughs> One reckless kid certifying another. <laughs> That's what Brecken said. Of course, it could be just his radio. Some of the batteries are running down, so we're not getting much range out of them. Where was he headed? Out toward that newly constructed skyscraper. All right, I better go have a look. Hmm. Watch yourself out there, all right? What quest is this? Oh, this is the Prodigal Son. Interesting. Okay, so this is from the... Fucking, oh, it's from the guy, the tower guy. That's right. It's from the guy that's like up on the tower. All right. Um, that's going back to the fishing village. Uh, yes, red. I do know that. Uh, the AAVE thing. Oh, Jesus, rabbit. Rabbit's pulling an authoritarianism. Um, what am I getting? I'm getting a blueprint and 500 XP off of this. Need 19,000. What is this ward? 40,000. Jesus Christ. If I do... Okay, so that's 10,000 XP right there, just for all of these. That's still not even worth. All right, so. Okay, I know what I'm going to do. Catalonia is a country. Fight me. I like the Catalonians. Wow. Nothing? I like this dude. I like this dude. This guy here. What's up, man? Where's all this shit going down? Isn't there a house over here? Yeah, there is. Cool. All right, I'll head that direction. Oh, I kind of wanted to see. That's like 117. 78. All right, so that's just not putting in the work. Can 
I do have two of those. Oh, I need another toxic lichen. Fine. Alright. Just run, Kai. Just run. Christoph, this is Crane. Where are you? I found some survivors. They're in pretty bad shape. We're just outside the hostel. Christoph, hold tight. I'm on my way. Oh, so that just moved. All right. Well, now you're not priority. <laughs> Here go your ribs. That's just that's just a shattered rib cage. Why here heavy dude? What's going on? So now. Um Alright, so I should be able to see this bitch. Really? Alright. Coming. Yes. You keep pumping red smoke in the air, you're gonna have all kinds of visitors. Red's all I had left. Anyway, you're here, so we did the job. Give this envelope to Aziz at the bazaar. Tell him it's from Ryan. Okay. Red phosphorus, lye, iodine, muriatic acid, diethyl ether, phenyl nitrate. Oh, I know that She's list. Not exactly grandma's recipe for Christmas cookies. Yeah, I know that list. <laughs> this is Crane, are you there? Crane! <laughs> Someone just give me a grocery list with red phosphorus, lye, iodine, muriatic acid, diethyl ether, and phenyl nitrate. Uh, then someone just gave you a recipe for cooking slam. Rice's crews have been using it to stay up for days at a time. Volatiles are more reasonable than someone tanked up on that stuff. Well, maybe I should put this guy out of business. Actually, we're pretty desperate for phenyl nitrate. It's a lab grape disinfectant, and we're completely out of it. Well, you want me to pick up his shopping list? Definitely. Then find me at the tower. I've got an idea that should throw a monkey wrench into the operation. Ooh, where is that? Where is that? No. No. Stay on task. Can you see us? We're holed up in a bus. We're completely surrounded by infected. Okay, Christoph, I can see you. I'm gonna get you out of there, but the first thing I need you to do is stop cranking that engine. You're just drawing them in. Right. Yeah, I wasn't thinking. Now stay put and sit tight. I'm gonna secure the area. Negative, Kristoff. Stay with the wounded. That's an order. There.
Lovely. Get it over with. Get in here. rabbit. I'm fucked. Holy shit, he just knocked me into fucking fire. I fucked my dodge. I was going for a back dodge on that, but I completely fucked it. Uh, lost a bunch of XP there, I didn't want to lose. Alright, fuck this guy. Uh, I know what... I know what's gonna ruin your day. Secure the safe zone.
never been so scared in my life. Is it always like that? Pretty much. Yeah, but you kept your head on and you saved those people's lives. It's, it's not bad for your first time out. Thanks, Crane. But if you hadn't shown up, we'd all be dead. How do you think your dad would feel about that? My dad? Oh, no, did he send you? Look, I'm not going to go back. I can't. I'm not working for Rice and his butcher squad. Look, I'm not asking you to go back. Well, that's what my dad wants, isn't it? He wants you to be safe. Yeah, working for Rice. How safe is that? It isn't. Sooner or later, they're gonna kill him. But if I can get your dad to stop working for Rice, will you hang up your running shoes? You're asking a lot. You could make weapons for Brecken. God knows they need them, and you'd be saving your dad's life. Okay. Get him to join me here, and I'll quit being a runner. <laughs> That's not terrible. That's not terrible. We'll do that. When this when this game is performing correctly, right? Yeah, I, I get it. This game's parkour system in combination with like, dude, just fucking running fl over just fluidly like that and be able to like weave the way and just kick a fucking enemy off a run in front of you. Yeah, yeah. This game, it does when it does what it does correctly. It's a lot of fun. Me, you piece of shit. Bless you, Rona. If you hadn't come, we'd have been dinner. Here, this is for you. Is this? Oh, it's right up. Wait, yeah, it's this one. All right. Son's in one of our secured zones. But I thought you yeah, were going to bring him back. No, yeah. He's not coming back, Alexi. He's a scout working for Brecken. And unless he gets a lot better at it in a hurry, he's not going to last too long. But couldn't you talk some sense into him? No. So I'm going to have to talk some sense into you. You want to save your son? You stop making weapons for Rice and go to the tower. Now your son said he'll give up being a runner if you'll join him. No, no. Sooner or later, Rice is going to tear that place down. It's not safe there. It's not safe anywhere, Alexi. And the question is, whose side are you on? See, right now you're on the wrong side, and your son doesn't want to have any part of it. <sighs> you're right. He is ashamed of me. I am ashamed of me. But I'm just trying to do what is best for him. Well, then today's your lucky day, Alexi, because what's best for him, it's also the right thing to do. Okay. You win. What the? And here we go. Um, who's got to go for a second? There we go. Thanks for all. Oh fuck! There we go. Where's your big mouth, kid? Fuck off. Well, there's more of these motherfuckers in there. Are 
Just hold Good on you. should be with my son. In my case, there's a weapon I designed. Something special. I never crafted one because I didn't want to give it to Rise. I want you to take it. Good luck, Rain. Yeah, what you got for me? Perhaps I will see you again. Cool. What is that? Zombie classic. Electric machete. Machete or a handsaw. Cool. All right. Where was this? Where's he having me run into? Hmm. All right. Oh, that's going to be a problem. invited to the party. Alright. Reorient myself here. Cool. Lotta, it's pretty cut and dry. Um, there's a conglomerate, a co-op of, well, like of survivors huddled up in a tower led by a dude who's willing to self-sacrifice to get the job done. Um, and then there's a psychopathic, sociopathic, torturous, murderous, child kidnapping, rape, murder, feudal lord who was sent in there. Um, uh, and like, it, like literally, it, so it's, it, it's pretty black and white. Um, one guy good, one guy bad. That's, it's that. Yeah, are we sure he's the bad guy? Exactly. Uh... They should have moved that closer. That would have been fun. Oh, we got a chaser. This motherfucker's coming for me. Hey, right, what's up? Come back. Come on, climb up. Fuck you. Oh. I should be getting agility XP for that. Come on.
anybody here? Disease? Ryan sent me. What happened to Assam? What do you think? You guys take a lot of chances out there. Look, I've got everything but the phenyl nitrate. And you don't have what I need, and that's not gonna cut it with Ryan. What can I do? The courier wrecked his car in the tunnel last night. He's with Assam now, and your phenyl nitrate is stuck in the trunk of his car. You want it? Go get it. Because there's no more in Haran. That's the last phenyl nitrate anyone's going to be seeing. What's his car look like? Hmm. White, I think. That's all I remember. White car. So you're really going to do this? Ryan doesn't like it. <sighs> oh, fuck you. And whatever one... Is there a right... Is there a correct answer to this? I hate games that do this. I hate it when games do like the fake choice, right? Like if I go to like, does it, is the white car going to be in the last tunnel? No matter what, like, will they toggle it back and forth virtually? That, that pisses me off. Oh, like, am I, I just going to have to clear both these. This is, I hate that kind of shit. Um, Oh, the waypoints don't clear. That annoys the fuck out of me. About the dynamite you brought. We've got an idea how to improve it. Drop by as soon as you can. Okay. That's a shame. Can you darn the socks? Do you know how to darn socks? Um Yeah, you could you could try darning the socks. Alright, so There we go. Oh look! It's not the car. Who would have guessed? I'm telling you, they swapped the positions. I hate that kind of shit. Just let me have an honest to god 50 50 chance at getting it. That's a thing that just happened. Got you too, though, dude, didn't it, buddy? Oh, tell me there's more than one in each and that I didn't clear the area. Yep, I didn't clear the area. Ah, that's why. Come 
on, repair. It doesn't switch, it's the same one. Okay, thank you. Well then, that at least makes me feel better and that I just fucked up that, uh, yeah. f fucked that up on my own. Cause I'm betting I didn't grab the car. But thank you for checking that. Oh, come on. I had that dodge. I had that in time. That was bullshit. Mess off, boys. What's up? All right. Nice little guy scraped out a little XP there. All right. Cool. Oh, was there? Disappeared, don't care. Want some free XP? Oh, there's a bit more of them than I planned. We all have fun with that.
Let's rev. I'm going to wrap up this quest, and then I think I'm going to wrap up the stream. You're a life yeah, Ryan's not going to think so when I get done with him. I've got a better idea. Bring him this instead. It's the Alavon, a sleeping aid. Let him cook up a batch with that in it. It'll send Rise's goons off to Dreamland. I don't think Rice will like that. Hmm, <laughs> probably not, but they could use the sleep. And there's no more fennel nitrate, so I guess he's out of business either way. And I like your thinking, Amon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep, that is a possibility, Willana. Jesus Christ. Come on, there we go. This, this, this is the... Oh, that was... There we go. through? No, I don't think so. Nope. There's like one area of this map that has a couple like dead end tunnels that legitimately like abut rock walls that are just like shit design. They're a pain in the ass to get around. Alright, um... That's on my way. How far away is that? I might be like on time for that one. Oh, fuck you. Of course it's up on the overpass. Yeah. <laughs> 
can take it. Kill the thugs still. Ah, there he is. There he is. I don't know where the fuck this guy was. Ah, there we go. Ryan, it's me. I got your stuff. Open up. <sighs> Thanks. They were just about to torch this place. Who were those guys? Competitors. There's no more phenyl nitrate left in Haran, so they were hoping I'd got my last order. Here's something a little extra for coming through for me. Guess this is gonna be my last batch. Pleasure. Now, take some advice. After you finish your deal with Rice, don't you go somewhere else. Don't stay here. Way ahead of you, pal. Yeah. Alright. What the fuck is over there? What is Jafar's quest? Oh! You know what? I'm gonna start that one and then we're gonna be done. I know, I know. I need a bank of left here. But yeah, I'm not gonna be able to. Yeah. Fucking typical gamer brain. One more quest, one more quest, one more quest. Great if you started running again. Get your shit together, or like, what's up? <laughs> oh, bitch. <laughs> oh, I'm pretty sure this is glitched. Oh, well.
Ooh, there's a pouch there. That's valuable. All right. Get on. Hey, what's up, boss? Honestly, I've said, I've already said this uh, once this session, but like, yeah, when this game is doing what this game does well, it's a really good game. But occasionally it's obnoxious and occasionally it's a little janky. Yours. I'm making it into an anti-personnel bomb. Love you too, boss. To mow down the infected like a harvester. I'm going to combine it with firecrackers and a load of shrapnel, but I'm missing a few things. Starting with a suitable casing. A battery from a truck would be perfect. There's this big truck. You're not like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Step fetch. Got it. Uh... Yeah, no. Um... Uh, yes, most assuredly. Oh, I Narsal, I don't, I don't mind. I mean, it, you know, sometimes it's irritating and infuriating for sure. Um, but honestly, the game holds up pretty, pretty solidly, um, and it's not that old. Um, let's see, not, not by old man Kai's definitions of old, at least. There we go. Screens reordered where they should be, etc., etc., etc. Oh, all right, y'all. Uh, let me uh, fucking reorder a couple of things here, though. Yep, yeah, Rev. Um, all right, I'm not gonna read you guys out. I know it's bad form, but I'm not gonna read you out. Um, I'm not going to, I'm not going to continue your cyber addiction. All of us need to get out, move around, do something different. Um, that sort of thing. So, um, you guys, um, yeah, have a good rest of your evening and, uh, thanks for hanging out. Um, I know I don't do game streams that often, but I want to play some dying light. So fuck it. Yes. Yeah. Some of you are realizing what time it actually is for you. Viva, you're not my dad. Or am I, Viva? Um, yeah. You guys have a good rest of your night. Some of you need to go to fucking bed. Some of you need to go to sleep. Um, some of you need to s start the rest of your day. <laughs> but either way, catch you guys later. Oh, night, boss. <laughs>